today's Thursday here, early morning. We, uh, our company just left not too long ago, so uh, we entertain people, but I didn't cook. We ordered in <laughs> just some traditional, like, Arabic food, like rice and meats. But um, tomorrow we're going to family for dinner, so my face looks swollen. I think it's just because of my... Maybe. Oh, yeah, my flowers. <laughs> yes. They're still alive. Thanks, babe. I'll be You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, I was so tired because... Thanks, babe. They're so, they're so nice. Um, I had a small nap, and uh, I was tired from... I, I show it all in a vlog, but... I had to have a small nap and then I woke up and I'm like a little refreshed. I'm like, I'll go live for a bit. Who is your company? Just some friends of Salah's. Well, not just of his, but like, you know, mutual, like um, another couple and some other friends of his. Did you hear Amber chickened out of weight loss surgery and is now eating raw Brussels sprouts and onions and radishes with mustard and cottage cheese? Hey man, I know the struggle. You just, you try anything, you know, but my, um, Diet food is going to be delivered tomorrow night. So tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, we are going to do like one last Eid kind of dinner feast. And then Friday morning, I'll start with the breakfast with my new plan. So I'm excited to, to get that, that going. Floss, you look happy, not swollen. <laughs> I'm full of love. I'm full of happiness, see? Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> do I have friends over there? Um, Kind of, yeah. I mean, we do see people, so I guess you could say that. But like somebody I just go for coffee with or something, no. But there was a couple people who reached out from Kuwait, some nice women who um, watch me. And I was surprised and they invited me out for coffee and things. So I might do that in the near future. Hamburger eyes, no, it's sleepy. I'm tired. This potato phase made my life because honestly, you know, whenever you and your, your man have or your other significant other have like these like little jokes and little things that you do together that are like cute. I, I can't wait for one day to do the Hajj, but it's like a pilgrimage to Mecca and millions of Muslims pilgrim there. And it's going to be a lot of walking, so I have to be in shape. But along the way, there's all these tents and they give you food, they feed you. It's just so hospitable and um, spiritual from what I hear. There's a lot of vlogs on it. If I didn't have friends to hang out with, well, the thing is, is I do a lot with my husband. He's my friend. And also, um, you know, time to time we do things with friends and family and like, you know, go to events or whatever. But also I have my friends like, you know, my good, I have a core, like good friends. I have my my mom, my auntie bae, and I, I talk to them when I need to talk, you know, on video or whatever. I'm not a very social person anyways these days. So Sorry, will my mom visit? No, she said no, she can't do the plane. She's so afraid to even go to like Mexico when she went to Mexico. I feel bad. Everyone's doing diets, except for me, but I am going to be starting tomorrow, Friday morning. Tomorrow is Thursday, baby. No, Wake today up. is Thursday. No, today is Wednesday. Just now we entered on Thursday. Yeah. Wake up, please. Hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> so they're delivering the food tonight, like later Thursday night. Thursday, huh? yeah, we'll deliver, but you will eat it Friday. Friday. Thanks for cooperating with us. And, uh, Inshallah, we hope you uh, enjoying your meals. Yes. Hi, Jokey Toots. <laughs> I don't know what Amberlynn's doing for her diet, mustards and veggies. I sleep in like mixed shifts, Aurora, like weird little naps of a couple hours at a time. Do Salah goofy laugh. Okay, when he comes out, I'll get him to do it for you, Paris, New York. Oh, you want me to do it? <laughs> I sound like Krusty. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> He's the best at it. My only command. My brain is in this forever cycle of binge restrict. Some people live this way healthy. I don't get it. Do you speak Arabic? Kifik Habibti. Shantal Habibti? Yes. Tamam. Tamam. Want to give back a baby? Wow. Bravo. Love you. Love for you. Love, love, love. I will uh, paint a star on your hands. Yay! <laughs> you are not grounded. <laughs> no, she will play uh, Sims 4. Who? You. <laughs> Who? Not tonight. Why not? I'm tired. You just but... woke up. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still tired. <laughs> Seriously? I'm always tired. Oh, with the um, the spray? People's opinions with Shannon, like she's not going to tell them to talk crap before pressing record. What kind of loser activity is that? <laughs> anyway, have fun. <laughs> look, just look. <laughs> I look like Jeff the Killer. Make a deodorant so that G will try it. <laughs>
The computer does not show up. Indeed. Paneer, 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 paneer. I'm not like into cooking right now. <laughs> We're gonna go to um, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, right? Jeddah? Jeddah and Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yes. You're a star. I always wanted to be one as a kid, actually. I never imagined it would be this way. <laughs> An infamous. <laughs> look how tired I look. Uh, Thank you, please, please. People are gonna think I'm high because I'm always so sleepy. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy. But yeah, why do I look stoned? See, I know because I'm tired and relaxed. The shisha relaxes you. I feel like a zombie. <laughs> Will Salah cook for himself while you're on the No, he'll probably, uh, I'll probably prepare some simple meals for him that are easy to make, like pasta, eggs, breakfast like that, and then, uh, he'll probably order in between. Weight loss surgery if you get to a certain level. I don't think so. I don't think I'll do weight loss surgery, but, um, yeah. Because if I get to a certain point, I think I could just keep doing it, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. You know, there's people who get weight loss surgery and still gain the weight back and have a lot of health issues. Um, I'd like to keep as much of my organs that I have left, thanks. No offense. <laughs> I love sleeping, I can't tell you how much so. You? Normal? Seven to eight hours a day. No, you sleep six and then you wake me up and it's annoying. No, I'm kidding! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, babe. <laughs> and he's got so much energy when he wakes up. Also, I can do a gaming live stream now after you ah. Yes. You want to? Yes. So Salah wants to play G is GTA? Yes. You should play Sims. No, you don't like it, eh? No, Sims for you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you only get like, you only need like six hours and then you wake up full of energy. And I'm like, I two more hours. <laughs> no, uh, when you wake up, you tell me, uh, Salah, can I have like 20 or 30 minutes more? <laughs> like until you, you remove your sip up and wake up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Oh my god. And then uh, she sleep like for four hours more. <laughs> Imagine, guys. <laughs> oh, please, Salah, give me 20, 30 minutes more. And then one hour passed, two hours passed. Like, what the hell? The, the time is moving, <laughs> moving forward. I need 10 hours of sleep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like the Cyperlex here is like different, maybe, I don't know, it's like, I feel so zombie-ish. She can't remember uh, her dreams because it's like 150 dreams yeah. a day. <laughs> <laughs> the one I just had before I woke up was weird, it was scary. I had a dream that like I was living back at home with my mom and stepdad, and I was fighting with my stepdad because there was like a decapitated head in my room. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, how can you let this be in my room? You guys are, what are you doing? Why is there a decapitated head in my room? And I was like trying to get them to, and I'm like, I'm moving out, I'm moving out. And I was trying to look for like a little hotel room. Like, I don't know, it's really weird. It was so weird. I wanted to move into a hotel. I was like, I, I don't know. I love hotel, like nice hotels, but I have weird dreams. <laughs> it's because I was w listening to a lot of like stories about like um, cartel videos and stuff. I don't know why I watch that crap. I need to stop. Imagine spending your Friday night like obsessing on trying to like um, make us look bad with your perfume, going around town, asking random people. Like I hope somebody punches them in the face. <laughs> like if they spray random people, I hope someone punches them both in the face. That would be funny. Not, yeah, it would be. They're a psychopath. Yeah, <laughs> grow up. So sick. Seriously, up. especially Shannon. Like she should be worrying about. She doesn't have custody of her kid because. Like she can't eat, she, she's such a mess, she's worrying herself with trying to like make bees or spray look bad. Like, you need a life, seriously. She's manipulating and using Shannon, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I made sure they are. Yeah. <clears throat> she's a poor excuse for a mother. Yeah, I remember like, the last time I was there, she's trying to act like it's like, I'm lying about this, like, her cheating, like with her husband, because she, last time I was there, she was like super coked up, and she was like, talking about she was get, like getting it from her boyfriend at the time, like when she was like separated from her husband. Like, well, she was like cheating on her husband at first with this guy, and then they she kicked her husband out. And then, uh, yeah, I just remember like her poor kid. Like she would be like at like the birthday party when I went, she was like like yelling at her kid because she was too hyperactive. Like her kid had a lot of problems or something. That's and, awful. Yeah, and um, I love her kids. Her kids are awesome kids, you know. But she couldn't handle her. She's like, oh my god, get out of my face. Like, she's, you hear her, like, I don't need to prove anything. You hear her screaming at the top of her lungs on her videos. Like, her anger management is working really well. Can I have the link? <laughs> like, but anyway, um, 
so she's concerning herself now with trotting around um, Cornwall with Beezer spray when she should be concerning herself with her life. I'm doing very well. You are, really, okay. <laughs> I can see that, yeah. Um, I'm not talking about her kids, Peggy's. That's where you guys always get it wrong. I'm talking about her parenting skills. And you don't need to have kids. I hate this notion that you need to have kids to judge people's parenting. Just because you don't... So if you see somebody abusing their kid, for example, you don't have a right to speak out on that just because you haven't given birth? I don't think so. I think that some people definitely shouldn't be parents, for sure. Very bad temper, yeah. I agree with you. <clears throat> yep, sorry. That's uh, I'm not sorry for that opinion. I don't care if it makes me look crappy because... If you're going to put that out there, you know what I mean? Just reason only to wish Chantel as a reference on her resume. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for your job? Uh, I talk crap about somebody <laughs> in her fake voice. If you see someone hitting kids. No, but not just that. But like, if you see somebody continually bullying you online or talking crap about you, obsessing about your life in a negative way when they don't even have their children with them because they can't handle it. Well, maybe you should be focusing on that instead. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm sorry. I have a right to say that. Like, I'm sorry. They, I know they want me to talk about them, but that's what's wrong with it. Like they have no hobbies, no life. Like... And she put the cat emoji, and she is talking like in dirty way. Yeah. Oh, not Chantal, what she is doing? Yeah. Yeah. She's talking like this. <laughs> she smokes. She she's full of crap. She treats her pets like crap. She locked her dog in the room the whole time I was there. And it was like trying to get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. She. Uh, they have no life. They get together just to talk and snipe about me. Like, what kind of friendship is that? And meanwhile, that's what I did with her. We talked crap about um, Frenchie. So. I don't know. It's these people have no like dignity. They have no morals. They don't stick to anything. They just flip flop, wish wash. Like you know what I mean? Imagine being somebody's friend for that long, and then going and making a reaction channel about them. I don't think so. I just good riddance to those people. Like you know what I mean? So she's. I say all this to say she has no room to talk about me in my life whatsoever. And the way I treat my pets, you've known I've had my pets for twenty years, so I've always taken care of them. But the way you treat your animals and your kids is disgusting, in my opinion. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I've never gotten together with a friend and, like, stream sniped people or went around and did stupid stuff like that, so I can't relate. It is 4.30, so I gotta get off soon. <laughs> they both seem very aggressive. They're so hateful. Yeah. Very, very hateful. Yeah, the way she lashes out. She talks to her mom that way, like, you effing C-U-N-T. Like, she uses that word a lot. You f***ing goof, bud. I'll f***ing punch you out, bud. Like, somebody like that, I'm sorry, I get to speak out against that. Like, somebody like that, and on drugs and everything else, in the care of a child? No. Sorry, I think that's wrong. 100%. No one's life is dedicated to another person is happy inside. Exactly. Exactly. Truth hurts. My mom would have backhanded me, so... I mean, I wasn't always super nice to my mom growing up, but I never did that. Oh my gosh. Ricardo Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly, Ricardo Lopez, stalkerish. She's gonna send me a, a package in the mail soon. She's gonna send back the beezer spray with cyanide inside. AKA uh, Peter Griffin. Yeah, it's uncanny. She always wanting to punch someone out, real lady she is, I know. Anyway, she almost got caught in a trafficking deal. When FFG uh, insult, uh, insulted uh, Just Saying and her audience, she closed her mouth. She's afraid. Yeah, of so what? Afraid of what? To reply to FFG. Anyway, somebody sent me her address, her former address. I think it's her former address. I'm not going to dox it, obviously, but I, I googled it and it's like a shithole. So no wonder she's she's projecting everything she says about me. Like she projects herself. You know what I mean? Your place is crap. Um, well, a Google search of your former place shows that it might even be her current place. But it's good to have that for if I need it for legal reasons of any kind. Anyways, what did your mom think about Shannon? She doesn't really have she doesn't like drama. You know, which is why I find it so weird when, when there's so many mothers online that get involved in trying to ruin people's lives and just hate online. Like, my mom would never. My mom would never. I'm so thankful for that. Because I would be embarrassed. Wouldn't you be embarrassed if your mom was online crap talking and, and fat shaming a person over and over? Like, what is that about? <laughs> no thanks. Looking at you, Breezy. Yeah, Brooke, enough about that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Eid, I don't want, to t I don't want negative vibes during Eid for sure. And, yes, uh, and no, I don't know what it's like to have a mom, but that doesn't mean that I would, uh, I can't observe. Like, people have no problem talking, observing my behaviors about things that they don't walk a day in my shoes on, you know? So, you know what I mean? A cease and desist. I'm, I'm doing things behind the scenes. I'm looking into things. Now that I have an address, it'll be easier. So, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to talk to, I'm not going to give them more ammunition and more content to talk about it. So, that's it, you know? <laughs>